In this exercise tutorial, I'm gonna be taking you through how you can use the leg extension machine in your gym. Now there's three things we're gonna be covering in this video, how to properly set up the machine, how to execute the exercise, and how to really emphasize the target muscle, which is your quadriceps. This leg extension is a techno gym leg extension. However, most ones that you'll see in gyms are very similar. We've got three moving parts on this leg extension machine. The seat goes forwards and back. This pad here goes forwards and back and it also comes up and down. So let's start off one by one getting into the right position. So firstly, I've set this up incorrectly so you can see. Now, I need the back of my knee to be nice and snug on this part here of the chair. So this little lip here, this edge, I want the back of my knee to be snug on that. So in this position, as you can see, there's quite a bit of a gap there. So I know now I need to move the chair back in order for me to get nice and snug at a 90 degree angle at the knee. So at the side of me here, I'm gonna pull this up and slide back. Once it clicks into place, I now know I'm in the right position. I know it's not gonna go anywhere. If you don't hear that, hear that click, it means that it hasn't properly gone in. So you've always gotta make sure that you hear the click when you're moving the chair back. You don't wanna start the exercise and come flying back. So next one, we've got the pad here that needs to be on the front of the shin. So at the front of the shin, think about just above the ankle, that's where we need the pad. So I'm gonna click this in here and bring it back. Now you'll notice here that I've got my heels behind my knees. This would be for me to have the furthest range of motion during the exercise. If you wanna keep it in line, you absolutely can. So you can go at a 90, you can bring it a little bit further back if you wanna make it harder. I just wouldn't start off by bringing it too far up unless there's a specific purpose. So bring it back as far as you can and then you're gonna get the greatest range of motion during the exercise. The next one is, and this is already set up for me, if this pad was too high up or it was on my foot as opposed to just above the ankle, just on the bottom of my shins, then I can raise it up and down by pulling out this pin here and moving the pad up and down. Once I've then got that set position, what I can do is I can bring my hands onto the handles either side, and I wanna make sure that I've got the whole of my back in contact with the chair. From this position, I'm gonna be grabbing onto those handles and really pushing down, so that means that when I then come up into the leg extension, I'm not then gonna be bringing my lower back up. So I'm trying to force my lower back and bum down. I'm then gonna come directly up, really squeezing the quadriceps at the top of the movement. And notice how I'm really trying to lower down under control. Once I get to the bottom, I can repeat that. Coming up, big squeeze at the top, and slowly back down under control. A lot of people will do this, and what will happen is they'll be doing it so fast, they won't actually be feeling the quadricep, or alternatively, they might get some knee pain by just rushing the repetitions. You'll also see people do half repetitions. So they'll come all the way up, they'll do a really big generation of power, like so, and then just straight back down and clang the weight. And they're not controlling the lowering face, they're missing half the exercise by not utilizing and really slowly controlling that lowering phase back down. Of course, you're looking to repeat this for your desired amount of sets and repetitions, making sure that you're nice and slow on the way up, come up as high as you can, big squeeze of the quads, and slowly back down under control. That's how to do the leg extension machine. 